Hi everybody, in today's video we are going to take a look at Roth IRAs. So Roth IRAs are a type of individual retirement account, that's what IRA stands for. They're designed to help Americans save and invest for their retirement. These come in two main varieties. There's traditional IRAs and Roth IRAs, which is going to be the focus of today's. With both IRAs, your contributions can be invested in pretty much any stock, bond, mutual fund, or ETF that you want to buy and your investments are free to grow and compound on a tax-deferred basis, so you don't get a tax bill for things like capital gains if you sell a stock at a profit or for dividends that you receive. Really nice way to help your money grow and compound over time and kind of maximize the returns of your investments. So there's a few things to know about these accounts before we get into the specifics of Roth IRAs. So for one thing, these are limited in the amount of money that you're about to, allowed to put in. For 2022, eligible investors can contribute as much as $6,000 to their IRAs. If you're 50 or older, you can contribute an, an additional $1,000 for a catch-up contribution. As you're getting closer to retirement, the IRS likes to let you put a little bit more aside. So the limit, the contribution limit is set annually by the IRS. The contributions you make have to be in your account by the tax deadline for each year, which is a nice advantage because it gives you a little extra time, especially when you're first opening an account. So if you open a new IRA in 2022, you actually have till the tax deadline in 2023 to make your contributions. And it's worth noting, finally, that that limit is per person, not per account. It's totally legal to have more than one IRA. If you want a traditional and a Roth IRA, that's fine but your total contributions for each year can't exceed the annual maximum. So just a few things to keep in mind. Now let's take a quick look at the main differences. So a traditional IRA is designed to provide tax savings now. Eligible traditional IRA contributions can be deducted on your current year tax return. So for example, if you're in the 22% tax bracket and contribute $6,000 to a traditional IRA, some quick calculations show that you can save $1,320 on your tax bill or add that to your tax refund in 2022. A really nice tax benefit for those who qualify. However, the downside is that traditional IRA withdrawals once you retire are considered to be taxable income. If you take out $40,000 from your IRA in one year, the IRS can tax that money as income just as if you had made it from a job. So upsides and downsides. Your tax benefit now, but you have to pay tax later. On the other hand, with a Roth IRA, you don't get a tax benefit in the meantime. You get you do not ever get to write off your contributions to a Roth IRA. Roth IRA contributions are not eligible for any type of tax deduction in the current year. However, Eligible Roth withdrawals, once you reach retirement age, are completely tax-free. This can be a big benefit after you retire. So, for example, if you take $40,000 out of your Roth IRA in any given year, that's $40,000 that you have to spend and use to fund your retirement however you want to. The IRS can't touch a single penny of that. To be eligible, your Roth IRA must have been open for at least five years, and in order to withdraw any type of money from your account, you have to be over 59 and a half years of age to do it without penalty. There's a big exception that I'll get to in just a second. But that's the big difference. Tax benefit now or tax benefit later. Roth IRAs are for people who want their tax benefit later. So in addition to that benefit, Roth IRAs, unlike traditional IRAs, have no required minimum distributions or RMDs as you get older. With a traditional IRA, you're required to start taking money out of your account once you reach 72 years of age. That's not an issue with a Roth IRA. The IRS doesn't care how long you leave your money in your account because they can't tax it. So there's also no maximum age to contribute to a Roth IRA. If you're 75 or 80 years old and still working, you can continue to put money into your account. You're also, and this is a big benefit, especially for younger people, you are free to withdraw any contributions you make to a Roth IRA at any time. Not any investment profits, but you can take out any money you put into the account at any time. 
This makes Roth IRAs especially attractive to younger people who may not want to commit to lock their money up until they hit retirement age. So if you contribute $5,000 to a Roth IRA this year and a couple years down the road, you have some sort of emergency expense, you can tap into your Roth IRA and take out any contributions you've made without paying any sort of penalty. So really interesting benefit to know about. Now, not everyone is eligible to use a Roth IRA for their retirement. Roth IRAs are designed to help middle income Americans save for their retirement. They're not designed to help wealthy people avoid paying taxes. For this reason, the ability to contribute to a Roth IRA is restricted by income. For 2022, and this changes every year based on what the IRS uh, decides, the maximum limits on modified adjusted gross income for Roth IRA contributions are $144,000 for single filers or $214,000 for married couples filing jointly. The maximum contribution for the year is $6,000 and it starts to phase out above income levels of $129,000 and $204,000 for single and married filers and goes away completely over those limits you see right there on the slide. So that's the income limits to be able to contribute to a Roth IRA directly. So designed for middle income individuals, if you earn too much, you may not be able to just open a Roth IRA and put some money into it, but there is a workaround. If you aren't eligible to contribute directly to a Roth IRA, you can use what's called the backdoor method. So the IRS has an income limit, as we just saw, for contributing directly to a Roth IRA. There's no income limit for taking a traditional IRA and converting it to the Roth IRA. So what you can do is take money, open a traditional IRA and make a deposit, and then immediately convert that account to a Roth IRA, regardless of how much money you earn. So to do it the easy way, it is income restricted, but anyone can have a Roth IRA, regardless of their income level, if you're willing to jump through a few hoops to make it happen. Um, so I'll do a video on backdoor IRAs in a little while, but for now, that's there is a way to do it. And, um, so, yeah. So who should get a Roth IRA? Who should use one for retirement savings? So the short answer is generally they're best for younger people. Roth IRAs are generally best for individuals who have are in the relatively low tax brackets now, especially compared to where you think you're going to be later in your career or in retirement. Now, obviously no one has a crystal ball that will tell you, you know, what the tax brackets are going to be when you retire and if you're young now, Chances are they'll be somewhat different by then. That may be, they might be higher, they might be lower. So it's really tough to say whether your tax rate will be more or less in retirement, no matter what happens with your income. However, Roth IRAs can be a smart choice for anybody who wants increased tax predictability in retirement. So it's worth mentioning that tax rates right now are relatively low historically. There have been times in the United States, not that, not, not that distant past, um, where the maximum tax bracket was 70%. So basically by opening a Roth IRA, you get to lock in your current tax rate today. So Roth IRA is a really interesting retirement option and should definitely be on your list of considerations. This video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. Check out the link in the description to receive the top 10 best stocks to buy now or visit fool.com backslash Frankel.